Okay, time to loot this place. Sovereign. There is a curfew. Oh, it's you. Carry on. Wait, what? City of Honor. Hmm. What? A shining stone? That... Already a Celestium Shard. What? Someone's back there. Our ancestors gave their lives to protect us during the invasion while Arthur Graham battled the Validian armies in the Blighted Lands. Were it not for them, we wouldn't be here. Hmm. 36 monuments each represent 100 citizens to defend its sovereign from the takeover during the Battle of the Western Fold. Their sacrifice made this country w a country. Without sovereign, there would be no Graham. Okay. The fr these three mausoleums are dedicated to Sir Arthur's Silver Army, the backbone of the New World's militant force. Hmm. Forever wash the tombs of our ancestors, the Paladin, uh, the Paladin Order would not exist if not for them. But you... Okay, so we can go through here, but is there even anything to steal? Examine each and every one, you never know. Hmm. I don't see anything. The oppression is over! General Vandar Rowan! Hey, that's me! Always stood for honor and justice. What the? Barley. Something strange about Graham nowadays. Lax. Hmm, there's supposed to be a Celestium shard somewhere, but they didn't give specifics for one of them. Just a city. That's it. I'm looking at the Celestium shard list uh, that Firefly made. No clue what they mean by city. Okay, let's go down the well. It's obviously treasure here. Opal. Maybe the backside of the fountain, no. I guess not. How about gift for your special someone? I really need to make some water bracelets so I can go kill that kraken. I'll have to buy some aquamarines though. And that's not gonna happen until I farm a lot. Yeah, nothing here I can really make yet. Two. Welcome to the City of Honor, Travelers. Sovereign is one of the greatest cities we ever built, and I think this used to be just a military camp in the past. Hmm. Oh, hey. Alright, let's explore. What's this? Anything to report? I don't work for you. Okay, I don't see anything in this guardhouse. Can't get back there. Hmm. Lord Victor Breezel, uh, Breezel is a wise and just man. I pray that God's that his recovery is full and hasty. A great tragedy to have lost his only son. Dwarven spirits. Oh no, he's guarding that. 
Okay, got an elixir though. Get out of my house! I have to check the beds too, just in case. There is a bridge that leads to the Port Holstey Forest, but the elves usually have a patrol of elves hidden in the woods. If you wander too far, you'll be greeted by a few warning arrows. Dwarven spirits. Okay, that's it for this house. Exotic gems. Yeah, I'm gonna need to buy these a thousand each. That means I need three thousand to fully outfit uh, uh, to make uh, to make the other three bracelets. Closed. The next meeting isn't for a while. The inn. How much is the inn here? 100, that's too much. Next year I go into the academy, Daddy says it's a great honor. Next year I go to the academy, Daddy says it's a great honor to serve the country. Mm. Alvin Wine. Earth Bracelet. Well, that might be good for so uh, uh, for some of the normal enemies that can spam Quake. I answered you. Country was found when Arthur Graham and Kale Bailey were good friends. Does that mean something they had a falling out? A Celestium Shard? Still no clue where I could find that last one. Hmm. The Finest Ale. There's a weird looking paperweight. Take. Okay, that's free so uh, uh, from the city so far. Hmm, I think there's one in the at some military building. Who do they have to arrest to get some service around here? Sovereign Star is a base camp during Arthur Graham's campaign against Belitis. The brave soldiers that defend this camp became the backbone of the human occupation of the Western Fold. Vandar Rowan settled here after the war and founded the military academy. Still to this day, our soldiers guard a world of men from the would-be invaders from the western lands. He doesn't sell the, the apples, which are supposed to be able to buff your will. Those are supposed to be really rare, huh? No armies that can stand up to Sovereign United? Yeah, I... Unfortunately, that uh, might not be the case anymore. I'm having a hard time keeping track of which ch ch homes I went to. Sovereign keeps the Air Kingdom safe. Will her blood and steel long live Sovereign? Normal items. Sheer difference in power. Mm. Money and wine. Hmm. Sovereigns is my kind of city. All these strong men wearing such heavy armor. Hmm. Warriors. A girl from Frosthammer's dream come true. Sovereign has the greatest military in the world. 
Hold on, that's flower pot. Maybe it's suspicious. No. Keeper's nose clean. Wait, there's a second pub? I guess a big city will have multiple redundant establishments, since not everyone will live close by to the establishments they want. Even though Tarna is in Ilbed's territory, Lord Ol or Lord Courtlabar's uh, son, Hero, is the lord there. Courtlabar is also the name of that traitor. A traitor that turned to Blackheart. Turned to that evil Black Knight. So. I wonder if that's going to affect the Courtlabar reputation. Recently returned from Graham. I was plagued with the most peculiar dreams. Dreams? Are you a ch child of light too? Oh, good. You didn't go down. If you did, I'd be really mad. Elixir. Royal Swine. His areas for employees only. Can I take your order? Same stuff. The food here is excellent. Efer. How much does that heal? 30 MP. No, we're not gonna have a use for that yet. No, some might. I don't. Some. I don't even know. Does Lenny even have 30 MP yet? Look at that really fancy looking chair. And it's surrounded by all those cheap wooden ones. Gold bracelet. Hmm, I could use that for forging later. What's this bottom room? Hey, get the hell out of my house. Wait a moment, you look like somebody who knows how to acquire the property of others. I can show you a thing or two for 10,000 GP. Interested? Your purse looks a little light. Stop wasting my time. Let's see. Wait, it almost looks like there's supposed to be a secret exit here, but it's not. What? What kind of mapping is this? This looks so weird. Yeah, I'm gonna... Once I have 10,000, I should... I, I wonder, what... How, does Mug have increased chances of stealing, or does it... Or is it like in Final Fantasy where it does damage and steal at the same time? Or maybe he'll steal from all enemies at once. I heard a rumor that the gnomes of Dibbledorf have an airship, and that Sovereign is making an alliance with them. They're even going so far as making a place to land within the castle walls. Not everyone has stuff for me to steal. I already robbed you. Incense. I have sold the finest items for 30 years. S sold more like... Cr well, you do... Uh, yeah, a lot of, I know a lot of crafting also requires you to spend money. Like, this master spell costs 7,000 in addition to all the materials. Hopefully by the time I find those materials, I also have found good ways to grind for money. What's... how good is your stuff compared to... Hmm, steel. Lever breastplate. It's inferior to what I have now, huh? Yes. Very inferior. Haha. <laughs> Iron sword? Weak. That's right, we ran all the way to the mining town just to get decent gear. Huh? It's this tiny looking house. 
there anything I can steal? No. A terrible plague took much of the lords of Sovereign. The ailment tore through them quickly. Lord Elva Elvendor Yor and Lord Breziel's son both died from the fever. This is... Keeper of the sword is now Albert Brada. He basically runs the country now that the High Lord is ill. I wonder if it's a conspiracy. What's up ahead? Okay. Um. Where else can I go? Military district, I knew it. I kn knew there was a military spot I could uh, grab stuff from. All men break upon the mounted charge. Cavalry was the key deciding factor during the Manian Rebellion. Our soldiers do not fear death. Duty is their life. Copy and paste. These recruits have been tra training since they were six years old. Marchers can shoot a silver piece from 500 yards away. I also saw those blood in his helmet. <laughs> Tucked all those training dummies in case they hid something there. Rowan Hall, the Sea of Keepers are here. You may enter, but you need an appointment to meet with them. Okay. Let's see if there's anything worth stealing. Mudfish. Only serve enlisted men. Let me eat in peace. No, cannot enter. Just in case, I'm going to try to sneak past him. Nope. Even though he's not even facing the stairs, he knows I can- I'm going there. You're hidden behind a tree for some reason. Hmm. A barn? Probably a stable sort of horses, but we cannot enter and loot the, their stuff. There'd probably be a lot of uh, horse poop to walk over as well. Seat of the Keepers. Shrine is dedicated to Vandar Rowan, the greatest strategist that ever lived. He fired no sons. Only great warriors through the academy. The, <laughs> the entire academy owes its faith to him. Okay. Still go upstairs, but let's explore further. Tincture. That cursed NPC. Blocking my way. Smelling salt. He's still there. Oh yeah, he is. He's never gonna move from that spot. Administration level. One. Critical fail. Stimpak. Is 
Soon release of the military council chambers and is restricted to high-ranking officials. Move along, please. What? 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 This guy looks just like Court Labar's human form. Eldromus's human form. Lord Brada insists that our king is gravely ill. Why doesn't High Lord Riesel call for me? I've been his friend for years. Take. Celestium Shard. I don't know why, but I have more than the guide says I should. Nineteen. I should have 17 at this point. I don't understand why. It's possible that they put in some debug events to get more shards because some of the testers might have missed some. That's entirely possible. I'm quite busy. Please excuse me. Keeper of Justice. Court is now in session. OBJECTION! Order in the court! I hope we don't end up here. I have a feeling we might end up here at some point. And we're gonna have to play some lawyer minigame. Keeper of the sword. The Keeper has a lot of work to do. If this is not an emergency, I would ask you to leave. It's my duty to... Uh, ensure the kingdoms run smoothly while High Lord Breezel is ill. If you have nothing of further importance to bring to my attention, I would ask that you leave me to my duties. Hold on, doesn't he look slightly familiar? He looks slightly like this... a little bit like this guy. A little bit. Hmm. He couldn't have been, like, replaced or... Uh, maybe it's actually uh, that goth in disguise? I always think that's... Uh, they say there's some kind of... Uh, there should be a place nearby where I can turn in... Uh, to, uh, where I can get rewards for my shards. Partial rewards, that is. The final reward won't be until I get 110 of them. I wonder if I'll actually get over 110. That would be pretty awkward, wouldn't it? Oh no. Seriously, where, where... Where exactly is that location Firefly was talking about? Okay, I'm going to try going... Up here. Northeast. Maybe then I'll find what I want. Whoa. Wolves. Okay, Pots is faster than them. I think they're weak enough that I can take them on this party. Oh, I missed something south of the bridge. Relic Collector's House. Yes, this is what I wanted. Yes, now I can finally get my rewards. Though I'll be getting them slightly early due to... Uh, since I seem to have way too many right now. Way more than I should. Yeah, it's gotta be some kind of weird debug event. That they forgot to turn off. What? Why is there someone guarding this spot? Sorry, we can't allow you to access the laboratory. That implies there's gonna be some kind of boss hidden here. Why is there a Celestium Shard that I can take right there when he's supposed to be collecting it? Why is there a safe point? Very weird. Oh no, there's a price piece. Supposedly it's a sword that sealed the Dark One and his followers so long ago. As you can see, it has been badly damaged. However, I believe with enough Celestium Shards, I can repair it. Okay. Greetings, Traveler. My name is Jacob Hallenden, and I am the Relic Collector. I have spent my life learning about and acquiring items from past ages. I see that you have found some Celestium Shards. Do you even know what they are? A long time ago, before humans inhabited Tenot, there was a great battle within the Celestial Realm. During that time, the Dark Lord Malviticus was cast down upon Tenat. It said that his breach of the Celestial Realm shattered it into pieces. And the Celestium Shards are the remnants of the Celestial Realm itself. 
The shards are priceless, but if you bring me whatever Celestium shards you find, I'll forge for you with an item of unparalleled power. Bring me 10 shards and I will make it worth your while. I have 19, I think. Tinker's Toolkit. This nifty set of tools will allow you to dismantle your equipment back into base components. It will be highly useful in your journey as you craft gear. Just select the weapon or armor in your inventory to disassemble. Found 10 more shards. Master Thief's Gloves. Yeah, I should have 20 now, right? Since I did pick up one inside this house. Oh wait, did I give them directly to him? Oh shoot, this is gonna make it harder to keep track of stuff. It says 20, that's how much I have in total, but I didn't see it in the inventory. That's weird. I guess he will take it, but they do keep a total count for you to, uh, to for your uh, for your own good. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find ten more. Okay, so what is this glove? Increases steel rate. Yeah, I definitely need that. Probably should have gotten this before fighting that oh, oh, super strong boss from earlier. You've only collected zero. It, yeah, all these thresholds are in increments of 10, going all the way to 110, according to the guide. Hopefully it will not end badly like the Dragon Shard side quest in that in the Tiamat Sacrament. <laughs> Sorbithia. Sounds so ominous here. Greetings, Traveler. Unfortunately, the city is off limits for a special council meeting. Come, Please come back another day. You can't tell me what to do. Or you can. And there's some kind of... town here. Alright. Time to loot. Adrenaline shot. More apple. 100, that's not the- Yeah, I'm better off just running back to the safe for area while fleeing from battle. Highest peak of the mountain range is Gar Amal. That means redemption, the, the elven tongue, or so I'm told. It said that there, Vandar Rowan received Tantalasia's blessing. Tincture. Along the path of Ubor Jal, there have been numerous attacks by the Drow and Ogre alike. Incense. Elven wine. The brave veal or high ogre is supposedly even more attractive than elves, although no one I know has ever seen one. There we go to your house. The Great Wall of Frosthammer has stood for nearly 900 years. It was erected by the dwarves to keep out the drow and high ogre. Of course, Eldrithin used to be the protector of the south, but everyone knows that place is now cursed. It snows in Astral year-round. I only have southerners. I hope to visit Ilbed one day. Its tropical environment is something I can only dream about. Great Wall of Frosthammer has stood for nearly 900 years. It was erected by the dwarves to keep out the... Tr okay, I heard of that one. Yeah. 
Who's the merchant? Rare metal, AGM. Ice dragon, oh no, that sounds like a powerful bonus boss. Return in a few days, Gavin Rems, blacksmith. Olgar Shinestone. The current high fane of Frosthammer, Heron Golembane, is the cowardly prat. Upon his Celestium throne he sits, and yet he has the gall to close the gates on us. But husband is a miner. He, no he now has to travel all the way to Miner's End, which is 13 leagues away. His income there is substantially less. The last Spain, Urine Engel from the Clan Shi from Clan Shinestone would ha have never let this happen. Oh, a Celestium Shard. The Dwarvish trading route that used to run through Ashwell has been cut off. The Australian uh, economy is now in for one heck of a rude awakening. Oh no! No! Okay, good. If he headed south, I would have freaked out. North. Orange. Syrian chili. Mithril ingot. House feels so empty without the master. He now resides in Miner's End in order to maintain his smelting business. What's that green haired guy? Duke, the path of Ubor Jowl leads directly to the Frost Hammer. Hyphen Heron is close to passage. It has something to do with the drow, I tell you. I've been the frequent visitor to the Grand Halls of Frosthammer, but now I can't even walk the path of Ubar Jal. Tincture. Yeah, I can't go at all. That's it for now, until the story lets me. Ask about Kraken. Captain Baffa, we heard you lost some of your ships to a sea monster. Maybe we can be of some help. Eh? Aye, well, come on in then. Have a Let's have a look at ye. Elixir. Well, what do we have here? Landlubbers, that much is certain. I haven't s before seen such a ragtag crew of adventurers. Who are ye? I've heard stories around town of a sea monster that has attacked your ships. Maybe we can assist you. Heh. Heh heh. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha ha. We haven't left like that in ages. Forgive me, but ye lily livered lads do not appear to have the strength enough to, for defeating a band of sea imps, much less the deadly kraken. Tell me about the kraken, Captain. Oh, it be a deadly beast indeed, a titan from the ocean depths. The kraken can sink even the largest ships in mere seconds. It's more powerful than a thousand men, and merely gazing upon its horrible visage is enough to terrify the most hardened and seaworthy soldier. Not long ago, the ships began to disappear, so I gathered my best sailors together and we set sail to find those missing ships. That's when we encountered it. Death from, from below. The Kraken's power is up to sea, but n not that of nature. It is a monstrosity. Our harpoons and spears were useless against it. I lost my best men killed by the Kraken. Some sold whole, even. It dispatched me and me, sh me crew and me ship as if th they were but toys to a, a child. During the battle, a monstrous tentacle swung by the Kraken knocked me overboard into the churning sea. When I came to, I was floating on the back of the sea turtle being towed by a mermaid. I grabbed hold of a line and rode my sea chariot all the way back to Dupre. It's the truth, I tell you. If you would like to try your luck, I will save you to the, sail you to the beast. However, be forewarned, it is certain death. So here... Oh, I figure as much. Okay, so better save first. I don't know if I can get away without using buff foods. If I can... Then I w rather would save on the money and save the buff foods for an even stronger boss. Truly, all right then. I'll prepare a ship. Meet me near the pier. From from there, we should shall set sail.
Bring me the Kraken. Hold on. Yep, we all have wire bracelets. Bring it on. Bring uh, bring on the Kraken. Alright, mateys, approaching we are. The unlucky location where the where Hell's Bloody Beast, the Kraken attacked me during a ship. Man the crow's nest, and keep the eyes peeled. There, off in the distance, I can see it. Quickly, we must prepare ourselves. Prepare for battle, summon your party, mates. See breaking water over the horizon, how majestic. Well, I hate the water. If I fall in, you save me, right, Pots? How do I initiate the fight? Where's Virgil? I don't see all my party... I don't see Virgil here. What the heck, man? You don't tell me chicken out right before our epic battle. Go. There she blows. Hold on. That's ugly. Mass defense. Tsunami, I knew it. Damn it, even with my resistance, I it took a I I ate a shit ton of damage there. I only get a few prayers. This is not good. I may have to have pots just focus on tincture uh, on uh, tonic duty. Is he just gonna spam that every fucking turn? Wow, someone evaded it. Unbelievable. I should save up for suplex. Are you gonna- are you literally gonna do anything else? Damn it. Ow. Trying to... Yeah, so I, if I can do this about buff foods, I, that would make me very happy about saving money. Then again, I am wasting money on MP items, so that might not be a good thing either. Suplex! You better not miss. I don't think that was worth it. Trick attack. My trick attack does more than suplex. Without strength buffs. Seriously. What? He's using normal water? The heck? I thought you were gonna use the newer tsunami. Whatever. Looks like he's gonna start regenerating his MP or something. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so far so good. I think I can keep this up as long as I don't run out of tinctures. Oh, he's still using Tsunami after all. Calculate who is the most likely to get knocked out. Untouched. Primal E for Grant's Haste and Mana Regen. Brain Bash. You will not die. Okay, at least we were able to outspeed it consistently. Good, we got it. No deaths, just a bunch of tinctures used. Hit the Kraken Tanzanite Gradium Ore. You've done it! Your comrades have been avenged, Captain. We're on our way, mateys. What? Wait, what? This is a re relevant to the story? My lord, a Kraken has fallen. It was the Children of Light. Oh, Zachariel, has your pet squid gone belly up? When was the last time you haven't failed us? I can't even recall. There's a female goth. Unfortunately, we all recall quite clearly, Larry and Nail, how captivated and beguiled you were by Arthur. So much so that he was able to per uh, perpetrate his betrayal right beneath your nose, which of course resulted in our collective imprisonment for a millennium. How dare you? He meant nothing to me. It was your own lack of foresight. Enough. If the Children of Light are indeed behind us, then what Raziel has informed of us is true. Arthur Graham has been reborn, and now the great Gaius have spat on, out his companions as, as well. Oh shoot, I think that guy did look familiar. If so, we are indeed witnessing the dawn of a new age. The loss of the Kraken is no longer of any consequence. My plan is already in motion. The Dark Lord will soon be released, and the world will know the nature of its true god once more. Adremelech, is Graham prepared? All is as it should be, my lord. The Belidian soldiers are in place, and we have complete control of the capital. Oh, shoot. So this... Graham is... is compromised. We don't think we should go there. The city will live or die at my command. And what of Sovereign Samuel? When will we have the throne of war? The, yeah, this guy's totally disguising himself as the city leader, isn't he? Elvandor Yor. He was, he was somewhat able to discern the plot. How right, all of him swiftly, uh, swiftly, along with Lord Breezel, uh, Breezel's son. The people believe that the High Lord is ill. Soon I will replace him, and then I will have control of the throne of war. And make it so. I will not tolerate any further delays. Two cities compromised already? Shit. And now I have a mission of utmost importance. The Watcher has learned of the location of the Horde Gem, our Gem of Valnir. It is in the possession of the Fey Queen Vessus. We must acquire it if the Dark Lord is to return. Zacharyle, you will retrieve the hour gem. Not fail me again, Zacharyle. Yes, my lord, it shall be done. Hm. Oh, and there's a chance that I will be taking a new apprentice soon. One whose power will make the circle of twelve appear as if... Uh, as if but flies. A new apprentice? Oh no. Here ye noble town folk of Dupre, cast the eyes here upon the courageous souls which have done the impossible. Vested in battle the beasts of terror which plagued our beloved sea. Defeated they have that which destroyed our ships. And now, once and for all, our enemy, they have dispatched. The Kraken is no more. Hooray, hooray, we're saved. Blimey, lads, you were true heroes out there today. And I think you just came when you were needed most. Ha, <laughs> reminds me, it does, of an old tale concerning the coming of the Children of Light. Heh, <laughs> we've heard that tale before. Egads, Pots, come and think of it. You do all have the countenance of Vandar Rowan. 
Could it be genuinely the warriors be, gen, be genuinely the warriors reborn? Are you the children of light? By God, I believe it to be true. The prophecy, the children of light. It's all true. The warriors reborn. Dear children of light, it is my honor to grant you this boon. The return for the Kraken's head. I bestow upon ye all I can and all that I must. Mayhap one day it shall assist ye in be noble endeavors. Commendation of Dupre. I'm guessing you'll unlock another quest for me down the road. Farewell, children of light. Come see me if I may ever be of service to feed, dear heroes. Okay, so the, a lot of these side quests are actually very relevant to the main story, aren't they? Yes, there's no way I would have figured. There's no way I would have figured out all those, all those tricky plots of theirs, without taking on these side quests. And the Kraken was also one of their minions. Proof of heroism. Oh, I can quick travel to New Sparkle now. Nice. How might be of service? Not much you can do for me right now. I wonder if they give me a discount at the end for this, huh? Dupre has a direct training route with New Sporgle. Now that you've destroyed a Kraken, we can now once again flourish. Hmm. Still 30 gold. I was hoping they'd give me like a, a, a discount, but 30 gold is already pretty cheap at this point in the game. Good day, heroes. Yes, we are acknowledged. Except for, for that guy who thinks we're a citizen for some reason. In the snowy fields near Astral, I managed to farm enough mithril ores to make some mithril plates, and that will allow me to make this copper mortar and pestle. Okay, next up is silver bar and gradient plate. So. Where can I use it? Okay, this get, opens up some more options. Mineral water, which I have no idea how to get. Oh, I can actually make it from water, skin, and gravel. Now I can make a few more tonics to make up for the ones I used up. Yes, this will help immensely. To Can only be used in battle. Thanks for watching this Let's Play of the Great Gaias. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit that bell icon.